last time that you're off the chest. Medical errors are a huge problem for our healthcare industry. There's about 400,000 medical errors a year. You have things like maternal death on the rise. You still have things occur like falls in hospitals. You still have issues with infection control. All of this is better trained when you can repeat and repeat process, and that's best done in simulation. Simulation training helps to provide a safe environment for healthcare professionals to work together collaboratively as a team and then also practice in a safe environment where they can't harm a patient. If there is an error made within that training environment, they can review it, debrief on it, correct it, and then increase the quality of care when they are in the actual healthcare setting. You're in a low risk environment, you're not dealing with human patients, you're dealing with mannequins. So in simulation, that allows us to be able to tackle some of these more pressing issues. The great thing about coming into this brand new simulation center is it fits the vision not only of the university, it fits the vision of the healthcare providers in this region. You come in here and it is as lifelike a representation of the environment as you could want to have and that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to teach applied. You come into a place like this, it's not a place with classrooms. This is a place where you're walking through a true simulation center feels like you're in a hospital. Our high fidelity mannequins provide a very realistic environment for a learner to practice on. The high fidelity mannequin represents the most humanistic type of patient that we could have and as the learner is practicing using these types of mannequins, we are able to change that mannequin to represent what that learner's action does. So if the learner does something incorrectly, if they give a medication that they shouldn't have given and it should drop their blood pressure because they gave that medication, then we change the mannequin to do that. The mannequins really serve as the pseudo-patient. And this is, this is happening really globally. Simulation centers are being built in universities and medical centers all, all over the world. We do want healthcare professionals or learners to make mistakes in this safe environment. This is a positive environment. We encourage our learners to always feel comfortable here, never to feel threatened or insecure. If a mistake is to occur, we want it to happen in this environment so it is not on a real person. And that is the benefit of training in this healthcare center. But it's a special place for Jacksonville because we don't have anything like this in our community. One central location that could serve all different types of clients to learn, repeat, gain knowledge and skills on, on practice patterns.